Augustus. My man. How are you? Doing very well, thank you. Really good to see you and really good to speak to you, Ben. Uh, it's been a few minutes since your fight, man. How do you feel about your performance? I feel there were things that I did good and things that I didn't do good. Um, you know, I feel like obviously it was good for me to get the win. I definitely felt like I could have had the finish in certain areas. Um, it's just about obviously picking the right shots at the right time, finding the shots at the right time. Um, I was happy with my get-ups. I was just being patient on the floor, just waiting for my right moment. My corner were there with me the whole step of the way, uh, which is absolutely amazing. They told me the appropriate things, and then, you know, I managed to get back up to my feet, which is what I know I can do. This is one of my fortes that, again, people don't really know about, but I'm hoping in that fight they could see that. It's just about, like I say, find the right shot at the right time. It's just faking, working your way in, finding, finding the ranges. I found my range on certain shots, and in some shots I didn't, so... Um, it's just about feeling the cage as well, feeling the environment. You know, I've broken the curse of my UFC Apex runs. You know, I had two, two defeats here, so it was nice to, to get the win. So this is why this really means a lot to me. Um, but, you know, I've got to give uh, massive credit, obviously, to my corner because they're always helping me to improve um, in, in every single aspect. I feel like I've got a hell of a lot more still to show, but it's great because we're doing things the right way. The first time around in my UFC career, I didn't do things the right way. Um, in terms of progressing my career, and this time I am, so I'm very excited for the future. What was your game plan coming into the fight? Sorry? What was the game plan coming into the fight? Um, the game plan was simple. Obviously, I, I knew that he wanted to get me against the cage. I knew he wanted me to land shots. There were, there were things that, um, you know, my coach Danny and, and, my, and, and my, my coach Gintas, my dad, um, they told me, the appropriate things that actually helped me a hell of a lot in the fight to be able to turn him, to be able to not allow him uh, to land certain shots that I knew he was wanting to get and it helped me to stay on the outside and, uh, you know, uh, not get caught with silly stuff against the cage. So um, the game plan was simple, just pick him off, um, keep him on the outside and also try and push him back a little bit because I know he likes to come forward. So um, w to a certain extent, we did what we had to do but at the same time I got caught with shots that I shouldn't have really got caught with but I understand that these are things that I need to work on and uh, of course I know my coach is going to help me with that. It was a close fight um, at the end of the fight did you feel like you did enough to win? I felt like I definitely had the more damaging shots I knew he, I knew he landed a couple of good ones as you can probably see on my face <laughs> but uh, I definitely felt I had the upper hand especially in the first round when I was very close to finishing him at the end I know he obviously got the takedown but I know damage plays a big part now at the apex uh, whereas before it was about cage control I just felt like I landed the more damaging shots although he did get a couple of good shots on me uh, I felt like I controlled it a bit better and um, yeah, so at the end, I was like, it should go my way, but you never know. There was a 30-27 scorecard in favor of you. Do you think that was a kind of a crazy scorecard? Well, I mean, yes and no, really. Uh, I, I kind of was a bit surprised. I thought, you know, if, it, if anything, all three scorecards probably would have been 29-28. Uh, when he read that one out, I'm like... I, I almost finished him in the first, so I'm pretty sure that round should have went to me. So that's the only reason why I can think that they would have given that particular uh, scorecard. Um, but yeah, uh, obviously, j judges doing an amazing job, and, and I'm, I'm very glad to see that they are taking damage as more of a... Uh, takes more weight in terms of the judging criteria, whereas before it was more about cage control. Now, it's, you know, damage plays a big part, so I think that's a great thing for the judging moving forwards. The last time you were in this building, you suffered a horrific knee injury and lost your job. Did that weigh on your conscience coming back into this fight, like like during fight week? Like, was that on your mind at all, or? Um, not really. I feel like I've already battled that demon ages ago. You know, when when I was coming back into the cage, when I was sitting there wondering, oh, when's my next fight? You know, what am I going to do? And you know, I just took the time to really try and focus on my skill sets and learn as much as I could and do as much and not focus so much about fighting, focus more about improving myself and just going back in my head, like replaying these situations, I've almost become numb to it, you know, and I feel like this is almost like a new beginning, you know, when I came back to the UFC for the second time, this is my new beginning. So it was more of a rush of positivity than it was negativity. Um, Coming back here, obviously, there was a lot of demons from that particular injury, but I knew I'm a completely different fighter. I had a whole different energy. I've, I've tapped into my ancestral traits and, 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 and things that, you know, coming back from war and, you know, Lithuanians defending their land. So uh, all of these things were overbearing and overpowering 
over the uh, the bad thoughts that were coming, obviously, from that last defeat. So this was my chance to prove myself. Like I say, this was my chance to flip the script, and I've definitely done that. When, when would you like to return? It kind of just, you know, it kind of just depends. Obviously, I'll heal up, rest up, um, see what see what's next uh, in, in, in the pipeline. Obviously, I'll definitely know that there'll be opponents that they'll be looking for, for, for me to fight. Like I said, I'm, I'm here now. I've, uh, I'm, I'm here to I'm here to stay. I'm here to make an impact. Um, I'm here to put a stamp on the light heavyweight division. So, you know, th this, is my, this is my welcome party, you know, I'm here. So um, I know I've got, like I say, uh, I've still got that mountain to climb, but we're, we're doing it bit by bit. So 100% uh, I want to have one more fight this year. Uh, if not, possibly I could squeeze in two, but it's all up to the matchmakers, my management. You know, I'm, I'm very happy now to continue improving my skill set. I'm in no rush. I'm still young. I'm 29. Uh, I've got amazing coaches and team behind me, uh, so they're always looking out for me. And, uh, you know, we're just going to keep improving, keep getting better, and keep putting on uh, good performances and put on even better performances. This is my time now uh, to really, like I say, make a statement in the light heavyweight division and, um, yeah, hello, guys. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much, my man. I've just got one for you. Um, you mentioned someone named Steven, and I was wondering if you could talk to us a little, a little bit about him. He's there to your left. Um, so Steven is a, is a very special person. We actually met at UFC London. Uh, we, I was there watching the fights, and uh, Steven was sitting next to me, and you know, he didn't even realize he was sitting next to me. And then he kind of was just, oh, bloody hell, this is Modesta's like, you know, because apparently he'd been following my career in Cage Warriors. And we just got talking, you know, just sitting at the event, you know, like, and I just got really good vibes off of him. Really lovely fella. Uh, you know, we made a nice, good connection. He, 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 was so, he was so sweet, you know, he kind of was oh, I don't want to disturb you. I'm like, oh, come on, man, you're, you're, you know, you're a good guy. I don't mind talking. And then uh, he messaged me on Instagram and he told me that, um, unfortunately, he has uh, motor neuron disease. And, um, for anyone that knows that, it's you know it's it's a fatal it's a fatal thing. So uh, for him, he messaged me saying that, and also that he's a videographer and he showed me some of his stuff. He's one of the most talented videographers, photographers I've ever met in my life. Like honestly, and he's such a genuine person. Like I, I can't even describe to you how how much of an amazing person he is. He gels so well with my team. Um, he's got the same spirit and same vibes that we all hold. Um, and you know, he wanted to. He said he wanted to record my comeback, and and you know everything leading up to the UFC. And you know, it just so happened that you know I was thinking to myself, well, why don't we get you up here into Vegas and and record me backstage? I'll I'll share a little something as well. The first time I got recorded backstage, um, this is why everything for me is almost like the law of twos, or just me coming back and you know doing things right the second time round. The first time I got recorded, I end up losing in 18 seconds, and that was truly horrible a loss um it was embarrassing you know it was all recorded as well like like i say all the backstage every time i watch it it like brings back really bad memories and that was the first time i got recorded backstage now we've done it the second time round, and we've got the win and you know we, we 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 put on a hell of a fight and he was there to capture every single thing like i say he's been an absolutely amazing addition to the team uh i really love this guy and um for everything that he has to go through, as I said on the mic, he's the real fighter. You know, I'm going out there and, and throwing down with someone in the cage, but this guy, knowing what he knows about his body and, and what is potentially going to happen to him, he lives every day to the fullest, happy face, full energy. And I'm glad that following my journey is also giving him that inspiration and motivation to keep going. And that really, really means a lot to me. And of course, him as a person means a lot to me. And he's become a part of the family. So uh, thank you, Stephen. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, mate. Uh, congratulations on the win. Thank um, you. In the second round, we heard your corner ask you to implement your kicks. You made the adjustment. How important was that in getting the win tonight? I, I definitely could have threw more kicks. Um, it's, it's almost weird because I was trying to get my, get, get my hands going and I knew that he was going to have a grappling heavy type approach. So... 
I didn't want to throw too, it, it's mad because they were telling me to throw more kicks, but I didn't want to throw too many just in case it got, it, it, it got grabbed. And I knew I had to fake and get in there. But uh, yeah, I started using it a little bit more and I saw that obviously it did, uh, it did damage. I probably could have used it a little bit more um, if, 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 I'm, if I'm going to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, that was definitely a game changer because now you're not just worried about the hands, you're worried about my legs as well. And as we all know, my, my legs are very dangerous. And uh, like I say, with, with more opponents, I'm definitely going to be looking to use it even more. And uh, did anything about Zach surprise you today? He's uh, got a hell of a chin. <laughs> I caught him with some really good... Obviously, he caught me with some good shots, but bloody hell, I caught him with, with like one or two right hands. I thought, this guy's not going down, you know? And he, just, he literally just ducked underneath, got into the clinch, and, you know, he kept fighting, he kept going. He's, he's, a, he's a lot tougher than, 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 than what I thought. Um, he's, got, he's very technical as well. The trip that he got me with as well, I was like, bloody hell, I really did not expect that, you know? Um, in, in my training, I, I haven't had someone use, like I say, him and Tyson Pedro, use the particular moves that they were using. So it's something that I definitely got to look into and, and work on. But uh, he's a hell of a comp competitor. Um, he's a very good, very highly skilled fighter. And I'm actually looking forward to see what he does in the vision going forward, even though he lost this fight. Thank you. Nice one.